I have put it down a list. So let's move it up. Okay. Let me see anything. The value constant, I, I should go and generally um, get an error in the constant. The value of day, month, and year are restricted to the value ranges specific above. Okay. The given date are guaranteed to be valid. So no error. Handling is necessary. That's also good. And n, which is the number of test test I think. String date n. Okay. N is going to be n test cases. The first to the twentieth October twenty. Okay. Is it valid? I think the range is as twenty four. Okay, okay, that's fine. The first is that twentieth October twenty fifty two. So it should be in the form like two zero five zero hyphen with the October the numerical value of October that I will use as much and twentieth. It's going to simply I will remove the just I will. Take a survey or something like this. So it will go. Okay. So it will be shown. Okay. 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 Thank you. So list of string. Playing with it as the following by one of the string day. And it turns the array of converted string. Okay, let's find. I think I should jump into the code now. Then should I take as map or I can do that? Let me think some other approach whether I can do without as much or not. So I will be given like 20. RT and RT and that whatever I will add in this and I will return the same. Second statement, what I have did, I have seen that I can use mapping like things like for the I can map the I can map the uh, string of uh, the month with the numerical uh, numeric value. So I did this. See, see, in this, you, you might be thinking that there must be zero in front of this because whatever we are going to return, there is containing zero if it is of one, one digit uh, uh, month number. So if I put zero over there, you, you, I know and we know that in um, uh, Java or in any, any other language, for uh, representing the hexadecimal number, octal decimal, we have the different representation. Uh, for the uh, hexadecimal, hexadecimal, how we represent the number? I represent the number like like this, like x zero, isn't it? Zero, like this type of for the hexadecimal. And for octal, we simply put zero 
in front of the uh, integer then the compiler what the compiler consider it that the it's a octal number in this what have happening if i put zero in till seven it will be fine because octal number is starting from zero and goes up to seven isn't it so it will be fine to representing the putting zero in this but as uh, the time will come and when i put zero on the number which is greater than seven then what it will show that it's uh, this octal number of this doesn't exist and then the compiler will give compile time error that you are doing something wrong over here so i i remove all the zeros and see simply it is the integer and now how i will do uh, i will tackle this uh, in uh, in upcoming uh, program i am going to tell the c here for the every element of the dates when dates is containing the all the uh, the uh, dates from from uh, which i have to play with like i have to change the format of that so initially i have taken so many uh, empty uh, string it is useful as we proceed in the code so first what i have did i i, I observe that the the test cases which like this me explain see okay it is not allowed over here so i can i can say that here it is everything is separated with the space for the confirmation of this i what i have did i firstly i have split this and i printed uh, like this to just see that it is separated by just one space or more than one space so from that i come to know that all the th all the string which is uh, uh, given in the list is separated by just only one space so i split it on over the space in the array splt and then what i did with, to deal with that uh, day because see here is a problem is like that ki here is the number containing that is he see is the six six isn't it six uh, is given then in this what is only three character is there so splt zero will always return what day and one will return month and the uh, zero and two will return the year splt index zero will uh, always return uh, day then month and the year so zero i am taking a sub string if it is a uh, if it is a just if it is a three length then i i will consider that it is like something Six, six, isn't it? The, so it, it will be three if the date is two digit uh, number, that is like twenty, like thirty. Then what? It the length of this will be four, and and either it will be three or four. So I check for the three. If it is three, then I just taken the substring of this six. See, I have taken zero will always uh, represent the string of the date. So zero dot substring zero to one, one is excluded. Zero to zero, we know that in substring the uh, the one the, the last uh, parameter is not uh, included in that. That excluded. Like if if I uh, I wanna get uh, uh, substring zero to three, then actually it will be calculated zero character, one character, and second character. It will uh, leave the th th third character. Like this, it is not excluded one. So I did. In this, I get the uh, one character and put zero in front of this. See, the in the string we can directly concatenate, putting a string plus, uh, plus using plus sign in the Java we can directly concatenate the string. So I uh, concatenated and this way day is ready to uh, add in the final uh, returnable final returnable is uh, date for date format. See if it's three, then day is this. If it is four, then day is this. And after the day is completed, and now it's turn up my uh, month. Okay. So the, for the month, uh, what I have did, I have just uh, maintained the hash map and getting the that i at uh, one. This uh, split at one is a math. Uh, split at one is a month uh, listed in a month. So what I did here. If that month is less than nine, so uh, earlier I I discussed that I have not put zero 
in front of the one single digit number so but it should be zero as uh, here you, we can say that it should be zero in the date so to tackle this i i get the value from the string uh, from the uh, i get the value from the has map and put zero in front of this map and if it is uh, uh, the value will be greater than nine like 10 then there is no need to put zero in front of this in this way the month is prepared and there is no need to worry about what there is no need to worry about what the year i have not i, I have not uh, uh, changed anything in that so simply the splt second character what it, it is doing it is just representing the uh, representing the year i can concatenate it with the that that's uh, hyphen sign then can can concatenate it with the month then hyphen the day in this way one returnable is complete and then this temp variable i am adding in the this and similarly doing for everything in the everything in the uh, that uh, date list for every element in the, see for every element in the date list okay so by this i think i have done very well i really uh, i've done i enjoyed this test and uh, awesome you have not saved the changes before moving okay let me uh, let me run or run the test i am running the test to see whether it is uh, passing all the c so i explained all the things and then i have what i have did i i run all the tests it, it is successfully passing seven out of seven test cases something is debugger i have used uh, uh, like uh, in a way that i am going to i am going in a right direction or not it's very important because after writing all the code once and then uh, finding error is becomes some tedious for me so i did this now the term i already explained the second submit this i already explained the second uh, logic of my the code so i think I, I really it was a nice session and i am submitting the test thank you So by this i'm submitting the test uh, hope uh, i done uh, hope uh, hoping for the best thank you thank you for giving such a test i'm, I'm submitting now